Welcome to another exciting episode of Dabistan. Today, we're diving into the world of stories that touch the heart, inspire change, and shed light on the lives of those who faced incredible challenges. Get ready to explore the pages of We Are Resilient, a series where we delve into the inspiring tales of individuals who have triumphed over adversity to achieve greatness. In this inaugural episode, we embark on a journey through the pages of We Are Displaced by local prodigy Malala Yousafzai. Malala Yousafzai is an international activist and advocate for women and girls. She was displaced from her home in Pakistan by the Taliban. In this book, Malala Yousafzai, an international advocate for women and girls, shares stories of displacement caused by violent conflicts, famines, and natural disasters. These are stories of survival, resilience, and above all, hope. Malala takes us on a journey through the lives of individuals who have experienced the unimaginable. From the Swiss-like beauty of Pakistan's Swat Valley to the refugee camps in Bangladesh, these stories capture the complexities of emotions that displaced people feel. Malala's paradise turned into turmoil when religious extremism took hold in Swat Valley. The Taliban's influence grew, leading to threats against girls' education and personal safety. In 2008, Taliban's directive to close girls' schools was a looming threat. For Malala, education was her future safeguard. In 2009, SWAT faced such dire circumstances that the government ordered an evacuation to pave the way for a military operation against the Taliban. Fleeing her home, Malala became an internally displaced person, living a life of uncertainty in different places. But she didn't let that stop her from advocating for education. On October 9, 2012, Malala was shot in the head by a member of the Taliban for speaking out on peace and education for girls. Despite facing a life-threatening attack, Malala's determination remained unshaken. Her courage inspired thousands worldwide to stand up for girls' education. Malala was airlifted to Birmingham, England, where she recovered and her family started anew. In 2015, on a documentary tour across America, Malala met two Yamini sisters, Zainab and Sabri. Zainab's US visa approval changed her life. Sabrine embarked on a perilous journey to Europe because she was rejected for US visa. Muzoan, a refugee in Jordan, advocated education over early marriage. Her efforts sparked hope among girls in the camp. Nala from Iraq fought for education. Despite adversity, she ran away from home to attend school and later became a refugee. Violence drove Maria and her mother from their farm in Colombia to a poor makeshift camp, where she found solace in creativity and memories of home. Marie Claire, a Congolese refugee in Zambia, moved to the US and graduated high school with her mother's help. Lastly, Jerum Jar's Love Army helped Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh. Ajita, a stove maker, shared her story of suffering and survival. These stories show how humans can overcome challenges and inspire hope. The need is to learn more about the refugee crisis and find ways to support those in need. Thanks for watching.